We might have tadpoles. We took most of the water out of this and you can see some of the algae that has come up to the surface. Take a look at the progress over here. It's insane. They're like in-shelled mussels, clams, crabs. Guys, I did it. 30,000 likes, I done told you what we were gonna do. And we did it, man of my word. Today's video is sponsored by Rocket Money. I recently found out that I was just being charged for so many random subscriptions on my debit card. I then went on my phone and I wasted hours of time trying to cancel all these random subscriptions. Every dollar counts. You guys know just how much these pawns cost. I gotta keep saving. I gotta make sure I've got the money to continue doing this. So I continue to really try to be on top of my expenses. Well, Rocket Money makes it a lot easier to do so. Rocket Money is an app you need to save more and manage your money better. Helping you cancel all those subscriptions that you don't need, lower your bills, make custom budgets, and grow your savings all in one. Who doesn't love saving money? With this app, it'll help you achieve financial freedom. I personally use Rocket Money for multiple different things. A lot comes down to all the random subscriptions that I've come across in the past couple of years of my life. But let alone that, running this YouTube channel, I spend a lot of money. Building these ponds is not cheap and there's a lot of different expenses that goes into doing some projects like this. And having Rocket Money keep an eye on all those different random things, making me aware of where my money is going, I'm able to save a lot. You'd just be scrolling and like, where is that from? $15, $13, it adds up. It safely and securely identifies reoccurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you. You can even cancel them within the app as simple as a couple clicks. Rocket Rocket Money has literally helped customers just like you and myself save up to $740 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Lower your bills by simply uploading a photo of your bill, tapping a few buttons, and then Rocket Money will negotiate your bills for you. From internet service, to cable, to phone bills, whatever it may be. It'll also analyze your spending habits and create a custom budget that works for your lifestyle. You expensive little creatures. You can also choose an amount and set up a smart savings account, which then Rocket Money will deposit automatically into that. It's your money, you can withdraw at any time. Here's all my reoccurring payments, and there's a whole lot of them. Now what are you waiting for, Kaferos? To save more and spend less, go download Rocket Money right now using my link. It's rocketmoney.com slash paulcafero. That is right here on the screen, rocketmoney.com slash paulcafero. Get started for free right now, and you can even unlock more features if you do get the premium. Go save money, Kaferos. I love you. Back to the video. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. Today, I started off my morning cleaning out this front pond. It got bad. Oh my goodness, look at all the babies. If you look, the whole entire pond is filled with platies along the entire edge. I mean, if I go slow enough, you'll see just how many there are. How many do you think are in there? 432. A lot more than that. <laughs> There's our koi. Got some big old goldfish in there and lots of platies that we saved. I mean, I went and got every little one that I could find and look at them all. There's millions of them in there. That's just in this corner right here. Come down here, there's fish all along the walls. Look at all the babies over here. Oh my God. When they start growing, there's gonna be hundreds in here. And the reason for that is my UV pump went out. Then the filter went out. I just had some really bad luck in this front pond, but now it is fully, I'm talking four hours worth of cleaning with Brenton this morning. But it's fully pressure washed, cleaned out. We had the fish into coolers, and then we put them back in the pond, of course. It's got a little bit of dirty water that just now recently pushed out of the filter, but this is gonna be super, super clear. I mean, we took most of the water out of this, and you can see some of the algae that has come up to the surface after cleaning. Got a big goldfish in there, a couple things that are new, but lots of mollies and platies. So many, it's insane. Those are all the big breeders that we saved. We're gonna have a lot of really, really cool content uh, in this front koi pond now that it's all done and everything's set up. I put a brand new, fresh UV bulb inside the filter this morning as well, so everything's good. There's just thousands of baby mollies and platies in this pond, it's ridiculous. Like, every corner looks like this. Look at them all. Everywhere you look, there's babies. Everywhere you look. I also installed this really, really big aerator now, so there's a massive aerator in here. Like I said, this front pond, we've got some really, really cool stuff planned for it. We're gonna be ordering some new fish, of course, from Next Day Koi here soon. 10% off, links in the description for goldfish and koi. I'm actually gonna paint this wood white and probably stain this rock on the outside a different color as well. Again, enough talking about it. This is good to go now, that's big news. Let's get started with today's video and that's gonna require us, of course, seeing the animals. Take a look at the progress over here. It's insane. They've got pretty much 90% of the, it looks like at least, I don't know how much percent, but <laughs> a lot of the rebar done. The whole dang thing is, is rebarred up. 
This is a little shallow area, goes right down. Obviously the pool gradually gets deeper. It's about six feet at the deepest point. You can see our drains are installed down there. And of course there's another drain in the hot tub back there. And that's the hot tub. So it's uh, coming along for sure. I definitely uh, underestimated how fast they were gonna do that. They crank. Look at our big old fish inside this pond too. It is crystal clear. So cool to see the fish. You can see the big red tails down there, the hybrids, there's beast. I put the iridescence from the front pond back into here with these fish, so there's two iridescence. Look at the arowana right there. So dope. This pond is amazing. It's got an aerator in it as well. Everything's looking good. This is from the birds, and that is why I have a net, because they will eat that arowana no problem. They're already pooping on the side of the pond because they sit there and wait for the fish to come up. Well, guess what, birds? Can't get them if I got a net on top of the pond. How about that? This morning, the goats got a new bale of hay, so they're all eating that. A little salt brick right there. They go lick that and then they get thirsty and go drink some water. But everyone's eating right now. Got a little chicken still. Actually, we're planning to get some more chickens. I just gotta build a chicken coop first. I do want more chickens though. Gotta build a coop and then we can get more. Right, Mango? And Lady May over there. All the pigs over here eating. Sit inside the building. Never gets old when you walk in here and see all these beautiful fish. Never gets old. I'm excited to put all these artificial corals in too. That's gonna be huge. I've got some really, really crazy news, and I didn't get it on video, but I walked up into the frog enclosure here. Of course, we have two American bullfrogs, Cornelius and Augustus. Augusta? Not, I can't remember. I opened it up like this. Cornelius is inside there. You can't really see him that well, but they were on each other. They were on each other, if you know what I'm saying. We might have tadpoles. How crazy would that be if we had tadpoles? I would be mind blown if Cornelius had babies. That would be nuts. Inside the building and at night, I could hear them calling, making the noises, you know? I hear it, so fingers crossed, it might be a thing. If not, sorry to get your hopes up, but if we have baby Corneliuses, that would be nuts. The predatory saltwater pond though. This pond has uh, done quite well on the channel. Y'all love it so much, and now that the reef fish are out of it, obviously they're over here in this brand new pond, but. The reef fish are out of it, we need to get more fish for this. As of right now, we only have two fish in here. A shark, bamboo shark, which you saw last video, who's just finally eating. I got him to come out of the rocks and eat. Huge news there. And then of course, this fish right here. Our grouper, who's currently chilling right on the rocks right there. He's awesome, he's definitely the king of the aquarium. He is getting huge. Look at his confidence that he has already. Coming right up to the glass, saying his hellos. All right, buddy. But obviously, that's not that much fish for this big old 4,000 gallon aquarium. So today, I thought to myself, let's get something else for this pond. And I remembered, I promised you guys a porcupine puffer fish. We were at the store the other day and I said this. Imagine, imagine we got the porcupine puffer. Oh my goodness. That would actually be insane. If you guys think in the predatory pond we should have a puffer fish like this, maybe we get one a little bit larger. If this video gets 30,000 likes, 30,000, that's not hard to hit, Caferos. I've seen you do a lot crazier when I ask for a stingray or something. 30,000 likes and we'll come back and get a puffer fish for the predatory pond. Would you guys want to see it? And let me just begin to tell you, Caferos, every time I tell you to smash that like button, which you should go do that if you didn't already. Thanks. <laughs> but every time I tell you guys to smash the like button, you'll absolutely obliterate it and surpass every goal that I've ever wanted. That was 30,000 likes to get that porcupine puffer and you blew past it. So I'm a man of my word and today we're getting a puffer fish. I also got this really cool pond online. Uh, it looks like that. I'm gonna make this soon too, which is gonna be really, really cool. I'm probably gonna do it once I get rid of this sofa area. I never sit here and it's gonna allow a lot more space for cool projects, which y'all love. I love one. I'm also repainting this pond right here. I'm gonna paint the outside of fresh black. I am unfortunately gonna cover this art because it's no longer really what's in this pond. But to make up for it, the same exact artist is gonna come out and do a shark related one because we're getting sharks for this pond. And don't worry members, I'm not forgetting about you. We're gonna rewrite every single member name on this pond. So if you wanna have your name on this pond, as well as get your name on the pond, you'll get badges that go next to your name on the comments section and exclusive looks into videos before most people see them if I finish the videos prior to them going live. I always give you guys the inside scoop. You'll see it hours before everyone else. Become a member, that link is also in the description down below. And you can literally get your name on the pond here in the next few weeks. But yes, repainting this on the outside, and we have this fresh blue color. It looks just like that blue right there. 
that'll be repainted on the entire inside and then we're gonna do all new filtration as well. That will happen soon and sharks will be coming for that. And you don't wanna miss out on it, trust me. Subscribe down below. Of course, we made our way over to the aquarium shop, one of our favorite places to go where they've got many different saltwater fish to choose from. Of course, today we were in search for the porcupine puffer. That wasn't hard to find, I found the exact same one that we saw before, it didn't sell yet, so I got it. Guys, I did it. 30,000 likes, I done told you what we were gonna do, and we did it. Man of my word, a porcupine puffer. Puffer fish, and he's so friendly. He's the one that came up to my finger and went to go touch my finger, so I initially just wanted him off rip. We're gonna let Mr. Puffer float, and while he floats, I need a favor from you. Go down in the comment section down below, and you already know what I'm gonna ask. Drop names. Individually. Individually. We need, we need as many names possible this in the comments. the algorithm. The algorithm needs to pick up this video and rock with it. I'm just kidding, but uh, comment names. I mean, you can do it individually if you like. That'd be awesome. Comment some pufferfish names down below, and the most interacted with one down there will be Mr. Puffer's name. Mr. Puffer. <gasps> I don't know. Comment. Mr. Porcupine Fish. Now, the name of these fish is a long spine porcupine fish. We're gonna call it porcupine fish for now until we have a name. Let's get this rubber band off. <sighs> Don't. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to hold this porcupine fish. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him in there. Oh. It's, it's SpongeBob's teacher. Oh, oh my god, Mrs. Puffs! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's Mrs. Puffs. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the most like name. Mrs. Puff? Maybe you'll have to comment it right away. Dude, I'm gonna have to live. comment that. I will be the first comment on this video. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Mrs. Puffs. Don't spike me, bro. If you've ever seen what these things are capable of doing when they're fully spiked up, it's quite the Wow, he's sharp. He's sharp. All right, ready? Look at little oh, buddy! Oh my god! He's so cute! He's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, bye buddy. There he goes. There he goes. Oh yes. I've never had a puffer fish like Dude, that before. Dude, he's adorable. Oh, come here. Come here. Dude, he's oh, so he's so cute. cute. He's so cute. A puffer fish. Dude, he's a, come here. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Oh my goodness. Hi, Munchkin. Oh, he's so cute, Dude, bro. he's adorable, bro. I need him forever. Dude. And these fish get big, by the way. I mean, these can get they massive. They huge. We want to grow Mrs. Puffs out as much as we possibly can, if that's the name. I don't know the name yet. Along with the puffer fish in this pond, we also have a bamboo shark. And we also have another fish that we got in one of our recent last videos, beautiful red grouper. It's also called a coral grouper. That's another name for it. Or a miniatus. There's many different names for that grouper. This pond is coming along. This is our predatory pond, if you guys are not familiar. This pond right here houses what is to come all of our predatory fish. That pond over there, that is getting repainted, all of it. Along yes. with that, we have this pond over here, which is why I have a chair right here. Because how can you not just want to sit and watch all these beautiful reef fish? I mean, you name it, there's that fish inside of this reef pond. And we have a lot of coral to add to that too. Look over here, a bunch of new coral. Who knows when I'm going to get to this? I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm very busy. And I don't know when I'll get to the fact where I have to cut all these off and glue them all. Requires me getting in the pond and a lot more, but we have a whole bucket full of coral. I mean, all artificial coral, and it's gonna look so good inside this pond when that time comes. Try to picture all that coral on these rocks right here with all these beautiful fish. And uh, also, I'm reading the comments, don't worry. Y'all said, light this pond up, put some lights in it. So, we've got four big radion lights coming that are gonna hang right above this pond, four of them, and it's gonna light this pond up. So. Good news to all you that commented. There was hundreds of comments about that, so we're gonna light this pond up, coming soon. Lots to come, but let's focus on Mrs. Puffs over here. Hi, She's sweetheart. She's adorable. Come here, pumpkin. Dude, that's the cutest Come here, pumpkin. Oh, they're eyeballs, bro. I know. Sure. And dude, that fish came right up to my finger when we were at the store. Oh, there's a grouper. The grouper's coming up behind. Oh, oh God. Stay back! So you had the puffer fish and the grouper right there. Oh, look, 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 look at the grouper. You see it? They're gonna meet, they're gonna meet, they're gonna meet for the first time. They're meeting. Oh. 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 You better not mess with Mrs. Puffs. Don't touch her! So just go. <laughs> and then the spikes will come out. There's nothing to worry about. That fish will not be messed with. Look, they're already friends. They're hanging out and they're already together. 
The grouper has now realized that that is not food, okay? <laughs> they need at least a 200 gallon tank. We're lacking. We are lacking, that's not big enough. The average lifespan for these fish could be 10 years. Holy smokes. I'll live you. That is gonna outlive me. <laughs> the long spine porcupine fish is also known as the freckled porcupine fish, porcupine puffer, and porcupine puffer fish. It's got a lot of names. The fact that this thing lives 10 to 15 years is crazy. It can get up to 20 inches long, which is almost two feet long. It's semi-aggressive, which is perfect because this is a predatory pond. They like in-shelled mussels, clams, crabs. So we could feed this thing pretty much everything I feed the eels, the zebra eels in the reef pond. He's gonna love coming up and piping little krill off the top too. I remember when Nick had these, uh, he was feeding them little floating shrimp on the surface, mm -hmm. so. That's more about the porcupine <laughs> Porcupine <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that, I just cursed on accident. Uh, the porcupine puffer fish. Hopefully you enjoyed the details. It's always a blast getting fish for these ponds. Having these ponds in my backyard is, truthfully, something I could have ever wished for back in the day. That's at my mom's house building molly ponds. Yeah. Good old days. Now we have Giant saltwater ponds. There's much more to come from this one. Subscribe down below if you're new. Please drop a comment for our new puffer fish, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. That was good. It was sick. It landed right above the lens. Wow. Peace out, Kafaros.